Hi, I'm Johnny Lin from Wewen. In this topic, we'll talk about the OCP server platform development on Corbel Linux Boot with Facebook. Here's the overview. You can check the open system firmware from scratch presentation from Facebook made in OCP Regional Summit 2019. It can give you a background on open system firmware development on uh, Corbel Linux Boot and why they are doing this. Our works on uh, Corbel Linux Boot mainly was from uh, we're do doing the development on Wewin Breeze Cannon storage server. And now we're moving our works to the Wewin Tiago Pass. Intel Skylake server. You can see the product information on the OCP website pages. There are many server features uh, for system firmware, such as BMC interaction, which is a very important. And during system booting, there are several IPMI interaction between system firmware and BMC. And here are the list. For example, get BMC self-test result, start and stop FRP2 timer and system firmware notify BMC system booting state such as post start, post end and system firmware sometimes need to write cell records, system event logs for important events and set information to BMC such as setting system firmware version machine configuration like processor, memory DIMM information and boot order to BMC and getting information from BMC such as read through data, get chassis power status sale and boot order. From the implementation aspect, uh, the BMC interaction, if we take UFI PI booting phases as a reference, uh, roughly the core boot can be mapped to the PI phase and the U root can be mapped to the Dixie and the BDS phase. So the features implemented in PI phase can be done in core boot. The interaction done in Dixie phase and BDS phase can be implemented in U root. So roughly, in core boot, uh, we chose to implement things like this, those things, like memory initialization, error cell, post start, FRP2 timer start, update SMBUS data according to fruit. Uh, it's pretty straightforward to update SMBUS in core boot. CMOS clear. Uh, in core boot, right now we simply uh, reset the RTC data, but in the future, if VPD data can be written in Uroot, we may also reset VPD data. In Uroot part, we implement stop FRP2 timer. Same, information, same machine information, pretty straightforward in Uroot that can read SMBOS and set uh, machine information to system firmware. And setting post end. And in Uroot, it provides an interactive show that you can dis run commands for displaying information via IPMI. It can be a replacement for uh, the setup menu in BIOS. Here we list some uh, implementation examples. In Core Boot, the first part is the IPMI driver implementation. We added some IPMI driver functions to the Core Boot IPMI driver, such as get BMC self test result, get IPMI, get system GUI, and add read through functions. You can check the links for the implementation details. And the second part is, you can code those functions, those IPMI functions from your mainboard code. Here in the example, the mainboard is monolic. So here we code the IPMI driver function to get the information from BMC and overwrite to the SMBUS data. The BMC integration in Euro part, the challenge was, at first we tried to add a statically linked IPMI binary to Euro, but the size is too big. 4 megabytes. Uh, in Monolake, 4 me megabytes already takes half of the flash size. So, and also it's better, it's more ideal that we can upstream to Uroot. So with Facebook, we develop an IPMI package written in Go. So you can, you can make IPMI commands code in Golang directly. And also we add a small IPMI dump utility, command line utility in Uroot. So you can run the command to display IPMI information. The challenge, there are several platform specific BMC integration, such as some OEM IPMI commands. So how do we integrate those platform specific commands? Here we add a product list table, a product list to system boot in Uroot. 
The system boot is a Go uh, root package that is executed by init daemon. So in system boot, it can read the platform information from SMBus and compare it to the product list. If there's a match, it can run the platform specific OEM command. And SMBus, uh, as mentioned before, is a very important system server features. It provides the management information by system firmware. And here it can be created in core boot RAM stage. For memory related SMBus type 17, it relies on Intel FSP to provide the memory DIMM information. And for update SMBus data from BMC IPMI, we need to read the correct product, board, and chassis information from BMC through. And then we can update them to the SMBus type 1, 2, and 3. You can check the previous slides for the implementation details. And other SMBus can be created by the existing core boot framework for your customization. And for server features, XP. Similarly, it can be created in core boot REST stage with the existing framework, such as SPMI, which is very important because it provides the BMC system interface. HPET, it provides the high precision event timer. And NUMA related tables such as SRAT, SLIT, it rely on uh, Intel FSP to provide a NUMA configuration. And the current major challenges in XP is the XP platform error interfaces, APEI. These four tables depend on SMM handler readiness, and right now we are still lacking the SMM handler implementation. And here's the call to action. The core boot and U root, you can check the links for more information. And here's the link to Open System Firmware Project. Thank you. We win. Your best choice for workload optimization and TCO.